Hi, I'm Noeline from FMS One Marketing, and I'm talking to Duvald, one maker at Pulpit Rock in uh, Swaziland, South Africa. Hi, good morning, Noeline. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Uh, Duvald, tell us about the one making process for the Bring Family Red Wines. All right, Nolin, like every winemaker would tell you, um, great wines get, get baked in the vineyards. Uh, so we have about 550 uh, hectares of, of, uh, of, of vineyards, um, which we farm specifically, each vineyard we farm specifically for different price points, different goals at the end of the day. So be it uh, the wine should end up in bottle or the, or the wine should end up a quality component in a bulk wine, we farm it specifically for that. Um, so the wines that, that we use for, for, for the making of the, of the, the cap and the Merlot specifically now, um, we pick it early in the morning, so first light we pick, we pick the grapes by hand. So there's kind of a, a special select, selection in the vineyards already. Um, then we offload, we destem. Um, after destemming, we, we use a combination of, of enzymes together with, with, um, with tannins, um, just for preservation and also to, to try to start the extraction uh, extraction process. After that, we basically go into a cold soak stage, which is approximately one to three days. Um, the second day, uh, we inoculate with a Saccharomyces um, um, yeast, just to, to obtain and, and uh, secure microbial stability. Um, and then after that, we heat up the wine slowly uh, to anything between 24 and 28 degrees Celsius, uh, where, we, where we control that temperature for about 10 days where the fermentation occurs on, on the skins. Um, for the red wines, uh, cultivars like Pinotas and the Shiraz, we will ferment a little bit cooler, 24 to 25, 26 maybe. Something like the Cap and the Shiraz, uh, we will ferment, so for different Shiraz, we will ferment slightly higher temperatures just to get rich and full about it. Uh, wines. After that, we will rack the wine directly to barrel, uh, where second fermentation occurs, and it takes anything depending on the year of two weeks, up to two weeks to up to sometimes even even six weeks. Um, after that, the press we obviously press the, the skin separate. That gets gets um, that we keep separate. Um, then we rack the wines from the barrel, and then the first time we sulfur it up uh, small doses of sulfur because we already use some tannins for preservation. Uh, and then after that, the wines will the barrels will be sterilized back to barrel, and the wines will be kept there for anything between 12 and 18 months for maturation. Thank right. you. Please tell us about the terroir at Pulpit Rock. All right, guys. So uh, Pulpit Rock, as the as the name suggests, uh, we're sitting right right next to this Castilberg Mountain Reserve, right right uh, on the slopes of the of the mountain. So that together with the water masses, the big dams we have here. And also the rolling hills, the slopes, um, that plays a huge role with the mesoclimate of the, of the farm. Um, so yeah, and even the different soil types. So up against the mountain here, we have shale-rich soils, uh, which pre provide wines, red wines, especially cab, uh, which is rich, silky, also tannic, but grippy, like not astringent in, in, in that way. Um, nice rich wines, well-extracted wines. And then down in the valley, in the, in the slopes and the rolling hills, we have more weathered sandstone kind of soils, which in, the, in return gives us wines like the Merlot, for instance, which is a lot more fruit-driven, silky, soft tannins. Um, so yeah, that's that's quite a diverse um, a diverse area in this 500, 550 hectares of, of, the, of the farm. Right. Uh, and what was the 2015 harvest like? Uh, 2015, well, yeah, the um, 16 and 17 were quite dry. Uh, 15 were probably one of the latest or the last normal normal harvest. Um, the Swartland area is renowned for, for dry and warmer climate. So to begin with, we don't use a lot of pesticides or fungicides in the vineyards. It's not necessary. Um, and then we get quite quite nice small berries, uh, which is which is quite well for the extraction and and the fullness of the. Of the fruit, so yeah, I, I would say 2015 hours was quite normal. Um, to the, the red wines was quite well. Um, it was a healthy, healthy year, and um, yeah, I think it's a good year. Okay, thank you. Divad, explain us about this section. All right, this this section is is pretty much the white wine processing area. Um, so what we do here is processing. So it's from settling to fermentation. Of the white varieties, our two biggest white varieties is Chenin Blanc and Chardonnay. 
and which is also partly fermented in, in oak, French oak barrels, uh, and that ends up in our, our Cooper Drug Reserve wine, wine range. Uh, Dival, please give us a tasting note for the Perpetual Bring Family Cabernet Sauvignon 2015. All right. Um, if you look at the cab, uh, you will find that it has a, a nice deep dark red color. Um, and if you if you taste the wine, you do get a lot of uh, nice red fruit on on the nose. Maybe some prune like like flavors. Uh, you also get some almost some some perfume notes, almost uh, flowery uh, violet flavors on on the nose. And if you taste the wine, um, I think the biggest attribute of this wine is, is probably on its palate. Mm -hmm. On the on the mid palate, um, you do get a lot of broadness. It fills up the whole the whole palate on um, on, on the taste. And um, al although being a cab cabernet sauvignon, it, the tannins is not not astringent or harsh or something like that. It's just easy drinking. And um, and yeah, I think it's a well balanced wine. Okay, and any fruit pairing nuts? Yeah, with this wine you will see it's a, it's quite a ripe wine, so um, the alcohol content is a little bit higher, um, so it will go nice with with uh, rich um, rich stews or red fruit, red meat dishes, even uh, venison uh, and and mild to strong cheeses as well. Now I'm taking to Arias, uh, marketing manager at Pulpit Rock. What about uh, the testing note for the Pulpit Rock fa family drink, uh, Merlot 2015? Uh, now, Lynn, given the, the vintage that we had in 2015, we had good concentrated colors, small berries. So if you look at the wine, it's a very deep, intense color. Um, if you come to nose the wine, it gives you that nice, minty eucalyptus character that we get from Merlot within this area. Mm -hmm. 